Good morning guys. I am feeling a lot better. The last few days I've been resting. A um, few days before that I was having crazy seizures and passing out a lot and just crazy. I mean it was wild but I went into status epilepticus for 12 minutes and the paramedics had to take me by ambulance to the hospital and that was crazy and um, a very emotional time. But I am feeling better now. My, the ache on my head has gone down and the scrapes are healing and my eyes are less poofy. And so I'm happy about that. Um, my black eyes have kind of gone down like to like more of that yellow color. And since I'm like super pale, it's not easy to see. So that's good. Uh, kind of a perk to being super pale. Um, but yeah, I decided today, since I can't really do much and can't really go anywhere, that I'm going to do a few things around the house. And I thought that I should do some stuff that makes me happy and brings joy and just tastes good. So I thought I'd make some cucumber water, um, slice up half to a whole cucumber and put it in cold water and put the pitcher in the fridge. It's super refreshing, easy, and delicious. And it's a great way to drink water to make sure you stay hydrated. So I love doing that. I do like lemon and lime and sometimes a mixture of either or or all of them. Um, and they're really good and it's nice to like switch it up and stuff. I'm going to do those and I'm also going to do homemade popsicles or ice pops or I'm not sure what you call them. But I take popsicle containers and I cut up fresh fruit like kiwis, um, pineapple, strawberries, blueberries, all sorts of things cut them up and put them in there with coconut water and I normally use the coconut water with coconut pieces in it um, but you can use anything cranberry juice apple juice um, part apple juice part water part cranberry juice part water stuff like that and it tastes really good super refreshing and very low calorie so I like to do those in the summer as refreshments so I thought I would do that today because it's pretty easy and it's um, something that kind of gives you a little bit of a boost. So I'm going to do that now. Don't they look so yummy? I tried to mix up the fruit, like have some blueberries in the bottom, some at the top, some strawberry at the bottom, some at the top, and then the kiwi's pretty large because I just leave it in a chunk like that. And I do eat the peel, so if any of you are wondering, <laughs> When I eat a kiwi, I eat it like an apple anyway, so I just leave the peel in there. But it is so yummy. 
and I hope maybe it gives you idea for a cool treat for summer that's really healthy. So now you just pop them in the freezer. So even though I've had a rough few days, I want to be able to get out of the house for a bit. So Garrett helped me put my wheelchair in the car. Thank you, baby. And um, Colt is right behind me. I don't know if you can see him or not. And I'm drinking my protein shakes for my... Oh my goodness, I'm having a hard time concentrating. Bye. <laughs> yes, so that I don't have muscle breakdown again because I've been having a lot of seizures. I think like last night was like 15, 20 seizures in like six hours. So I'm like pretty tired, but I'm happy to get out of the house. <laughs> get out for a bit. <laughs> Thank you, honey. Good, get it, come. Yes, come. Good job. Colt button. Yes. Just running a few errands together. Hi. Hi. <laughs> this is a good angle for you when I'm wheelchair filming. Does that have a double chin? <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> So we're shopping. Yeah. <laughs> I'm happy to be out of the house. Aren't you happy that I'm out of the house? Yeah, I'm happy. Did you, um, you saw, you didn't see me have a seizure this morning, but you came in when I, at the end of it? Yeah. Yeah. Well, so far I'm doing good today. Yeah. So that's, that's good. good. I don't know what I'm getting in the camera. <laughs> I'm not sure. I think you can do well. Oh yeah. Can I have a kiss? Love you. Love you too. My light-up shoes are stylish. Oh yeah. Everybody jelly. Look at this. Someone in their fake service dog had shit on the floor. That's ridiculous. It's all the way down the aisles. So I'm not trying to be like a, a brat about it or anything, but like your dog is not a service dog if it poops inside the store. And there is dog poop all down that entire aisle. Like they just dragged the dog as it was going to the restroom. And it's just like stepped in and smeared on it and that is just disgusting and not okay in the slightest. So that makes me very frustrated. It leads to bad um, stigma of service dogs because people 
see it marked as a service dog and they just assume that it is and then they're all like well service dogs are gonna come in and poop and bark and bite and lunge and all that and that's not true so it's really frustrating and it leaves a bad stigma to real teams that need their service dogs and then people don't want to let the dog in the store um, or they see the dog and then they get scared of it or because of past experiences and a real service dog would never be aggressive so it's just really quite frustrating to me I'm not having that great of a day um, but I wanted to get out of the house and we had to get like toilet paper like necessities and so that was a great way for me to get out of the house um, and then to deal with that and fake service dogs barking and lunging and everything, it's just, it saps my energy even more and it could distract him from an important life-saving alert, uh, to a medical condition. So it's just very important that you leave your pets at home unless you are a hundred percent disabled and the dog does a task that you otherwise couldn't do. And the training is about two years, sometimes even longer. The dog has to be extremely well behaved to be in a store and be considered a service dog. Hey baby, you drive me coconuts. It's cute. At least we got out of the house for a little bit. Now I'm feeling pretty tired, but it was worth it. And, um, what was I gonna say? Oh, Colt alerted in the store, so. Now we're just gonna go home and wait that out. So I'm making pita pizzas. This is pita bread, and I put sun-dried tomato alfredo on top, because we're gonna do a white pizza, but it's also sun-dried tomato, so I thought that would sound good. And then I'm gonna add some cheese and some chicken. So now I added the cheese and the chicken. Doesn't that look delicious? And I'm gonna put it in the oven. I just have to say that this pizza is amazing. It tastes like something from a restaurant, huh? Yes. It's so delicious and it's healthier, sorta. <laughs> so the seizures are back, full force. I don't think I ever did it. I just think that it's been a bad few days for seizures and I was going a little bit crazy, can even cause depression being stuck in the house. So it was nice to get out for a little bit at least. And now Colt's doing his job and just helping me and just gonna go to bed. So good night.